All right, a good Saturday to you. Thanks for finding us here at Fox 26. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. Of course, this is our tropical update. We're here every day of hurricane season and hurricane season is not over yet. Believe it or not, we still have about 16 days left here in the season. We end at the last day of the month and then we will continue uh, to keep track of the 2025 numbers, but the official season for 2025 is over. Those are the six months out of the year when it's most likely that we would see something tropical. But at this point, it does look favorable that we won't see anything else as we're moving on through. Quick reminder, we had a little something happen that's very unusual. We had three category five hurricanes uh, and it's been 20 years since we've had that many and we've only done it one other time back at 2005 is the only time that we know of that there's been three. They actually had four. Or we actually had four that year, but we haven't done the numbers since then like that. And we continue to see cold fronts kind of moving on through that give us enough of a change in the pattern and steering components that keep things out of the Gulf. So if you're like me here in the Houston area or anywhere along the Gulf Coast, then this is certainly a time of the year when we're not expecting to any see any kind of a U.S. landfall along the Gulf Coast and officially from the National Hurricane Center looking for no tropical activity over the next seven days. We talked about those uh, three category fives. You'll remember that as Melissa. This will be definitely the most memorable of the hurricanes that happened this year. It was devastating destruction to Jamaica and some of the other Caribbean islands. Uh, it was uh, make it made landfall even as a category five. Now the other category fives, Umberto as well as Aaron, did not make a major landfall. Uh, did not make you know, even though they reached that category five strength, we did have a another a major hurricane. Remember category three. Uh, four or five. Those are what we consider major hurricanes. So Gabrielle was a category four hurricane as well. Then we had plenty of other tropical storms kind of thrown in amongst it. We do have a few areas that we focus on a little bit more this time of the year, just like every month of the year. We have certain areas where we look at the history books and we see more favorable possibilities for development over in the western portions of the Caribbean is kind of the main area and that has to do with this Central American gyre. This is a large low pressure system that this time of the year just kind of hangs around and sometimes that can make stormy weather and sometimes that stormy weather can get a little bit organized, especially when you have waters as warm as what we're seeing in the Caribbean and those uh, warm waters and again the stormy weather could end up with a little bit of a tropical system out of it. So when you look at the last uh, when you look at the, the history books and when I say that we're going to go all the way back to the 1850s everything that we're aware of we peak our hurricane season looking at those numbers what we've seen happen in the middle of September and then we see the numbers start to decline at that point. We of course are now well past uh, this November 10th mark and so we will continue to see very few numbers or, you know, his, again, if just looking at the history books, we wouldn't expect to see a whole lot of activity as we're wrapping up the end of this season. And then, as I mentioned, though, even if you look at the history books past the, the, the November 30th in the month of December, there have, you know, can be and there have been some um, storms, but it's just not a lot. It's not something that we would certainly think is favorable to happen. So we'll continue to keep you updated. We'll keep you knowing if there is anything happening. But for now and the next seven days, it does look like it certainly is going to be quiet.